Are you feeling overwhelmed by your relationship and need some clarity to see what's actually happening in it? Today's video is going to offer you that clarity and the solutions to finding the answers you need in your love relationship. Hey friends, I'm so glad to be back. And today I want to give some answers and some solutions. If you're in a relationship right now and you're needing some clarity and you're feeling overwhelmed, what you can do to see the relationship for what it is, to understand it clearly and to make the right moves. Okay, I came up with an idea. This was several years ago. You know, I don't know about you, but I always love being in science lab class. Remember science lab classes, biology, chemistry. You know, you'd sit there and you had your lab partner and you sat on those stools and you got to do all kinds of stuff, especially in biology. You got to do all kinds of amazing experiments and you got to learn a lot, right? Well, I've realized that when we're in that experimental thought process, right? When we're, when we're learning, we're in the classroom, we don't take things personally right? We don't sit there and go, oh, it's all about them, or it's all about me, or they're putting me down again, or there's a problem. You know what we do when we're in that experiment mode? We learn. And you know what else we do? We watch. And guess what else? We actually sit back and go, you know what? This is interesting, and I'm not taking anything personal. So why not take the experimental thought process? Why not take the scientific experimental thought process and actually use it in your relationships? Hmm, very interesting, okay. So why would you do that, Ashley? Why would you do that? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly why. When we actually step back, okay, from stressful situations, from situations that we don't feel like we have solutions for, and we actually look at the situation for what it is without feeling as though things are happening to us, we begin to find great clarity, okay. So this is one of the biggest tips that I give to my clients when they're dealing with relationships that seem, well, they seem unclear, they seem as though they're getting beaten down and they don't have the answers, or they just don't feel like they're being heard and they don't understand what to do and so they're confused. Okay, here we go. First off, deal with your situation as though it's a scientific experiment. So when you're going back home to the house today, and you're sitting there talking to your spouse, your girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, having a conversation, but not emotionally taking everything on. Because I gotta tell you something, it's not all about you, okay? It just isn't. Did you know that oftentimes when people speak, they're actually speaking about how they feel about themselves? Isn't that wild? So a lot of times when we feel like somebody's putting us down or, or talking down to us, it's because that's what's going on in their mind. That's the highlight reel going on in their head, okay? Because they feel down about themselves. Because think about it. I, I mean, I feel pretty good about myself most of the time. I don't put other people down. I don't, I don't have that edgy, that edgy response with people. The only time I get edgy or angry is when I'm kind of feeling down in the dumps about me, okay? So think about it. When you go home and you're talking to your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend, allow them to speak, but don't take it personally. See it as a scientific experiment and be able to see all sides of it instead of getting angry or saying how you feel or, or kind of busting into the conversation. Just kind of sit back and listen. You know, another thing that the scientific experiment does is it alleviates the resentment. Okay, because what happens is when we're listening to somebody talk sometime, we get resentful because we feel like it's a personal attack. We also get resentful because of some of the things they say because we take it so personally because we're somewhat codependent in this relationship, right? I mean, think about it. If you substituted your buddy into the situation instead of your spouse, would you feel the same way? Probably not. You probably wouldn't take what they're talking to you personally. You'd probably just listen to them as a friend and say, hey man, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. I'm here for you. Well, why can't you do that with your spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend? It's because we take it so personally, because we're so codependent in the relationship, right? Because we're so wrapped up and enmeshed in it that we don't really know where they end and we begin, okay? We don't feel that way about our buddy. You know, another reason to use this scientific experiment is because we no longer feel abused, okay? We no longer feel abused. We actually can sit back and see somebody in their natural habitat. <laughs> I know this sounds kind of like National Geographic here, but what I'm saying is really think about it. Step back and listen and observe. We learn a lot 
when we listen. We don't learn a lot when we got the mouth going. Last but not least, everything someone else says about you, like I was saying, directly relates to how they feel about themselves. So when we can kind of step back and realize that when somebody's negative or down and out, it's because they're negative and down and out about themselves. They're having a low self-esteem, okay? Because you can't give that garbage out without feeling that inside, okay? And I've done recent videos on unconditional love, right? And unconditional love is a big thing. And when you actually unconditionally love yourself, right? When you unconditionally love yourself, you actually feel good about yourself. And the things that you don't feel as good about it, you're actually taking responsibility to make better. So this is very interesting. So the next time that you're having an argument with your spouse, your girlfriend or boyfriend, just kind of sit back. Take a deep breath. Take several deep breaths in and out. Calm yourself down and just listen like you would listen to a friend, okay? Look at it as if you're in lab class back in high school, back in college, and see it as an experiment. There's nothing happening to you. There's nothing being forced on you. Instead, you're just listening and observing, okay? You might not have a response. Most things don't need responses, right? It's not all about us. As you continue to do this over a period of time, you'll be able to understand better where your spouse, girlfriend, or boyfriend's coming from, the situations that they're dealing with, and you might be able to even help them. But you can't help them if you don't know what the situation is, and you can't help them when you're feeling as though you have a lot of resentment and anger because you feel like they're attacking you, when in reality, is this really an attack? Or is this a codependency flare-up and you just got to sit back and listen a lot and not take things personally. I hope that this tidbit will help you because the scientific experiment has helped me more than anything in my marriage. I've been married for now for 15 solid years, been together for 17 and a half. Every marriage and every relationships will have its ups and downs, but it's how you deal with it, how you work through the problems, how you work through the arguments, and how you become part of the solution instead of part of the problem. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and share this with any friends and family who might be dealing with some marital issues or some girlfriend boyfriend issues because this can really help them to really kind of get a finger on the pulse and to kind of sit back and realize, oh, it's really not about me. In the comment section below, I'm interested. When your spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend is telling you about a problem that they've recently had at work or what have you, do you find yourself actually listening to them or do you feel as though you're constantly looking for a solution? Do you let them talk or do you butt in with what you think actually would work better? I'd like to hear about that in the comment section below. And in the meantime, don't forget to live your true life. Are you currently in a toxic relationship and unsure what the next day will bring? Have you often wondered if there's more to life than this? Do you suffer from self-esteem issues that you've had since you were a young child? Have issues or have difficulty speaking with your family? Do you feel surrounded by self-centered people? Seems as though you're always giving and they're always taking. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, you need some answers. The 10-day challenge to live your true life gives you the knowledge and techniques for creating boundaries in your life that help us to deal with family, as well as dealing with those narcissistic and toxic people in your life. It offers the insight into understanding and overcoming your self-esteem issues and to begin to see for the first time your amazing value. You owe it to yourself to find the power within you.